happy hump day loves how are you guys i hope everybody is feeling amazing thank you guys so much for your love and support your like shares and subscribes and booking your personal readings with me thank you guys if you're waiting for your personal reading i'm getting right back to it right after this sending you love light and positive energy as always um i'm not sure if you guys have been seeing them but beware of the scammers guys pretending to be me you guys should know me by now i don't have a phone number i don't beg for your money um yeah <laughs> let's get into it okay holy spirit holy angels ancestors and spirit gods thank you for bringing me here with my collective family my virgo say my lovies thank you for all you do in the divine realm seen and unseen blessings you bestow upon us each and every day victory in every situation and blocking and bonding all negative energy entities witchcraft and wickedness that may be coming up against your divine will for our lives or this channel we claim victory in every situation we may face. Thank you for abundance and overflow and healing in our hearts, minds, bodies, souls, and spirits. Amen. Amen. And amen. Let's get into it, Virgo. So, let's see what Spirit wants to tell you today. We're going to start off with the Norman. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, speak to my Virgo love you today. This video is for all Virgo placements. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Overall energy, please. What is the message? Okay, somebody's trying to come in with a peace offer, maybe. Or you are thinking about giving somebody a gift. Somebody could want to know more about you. Maybe you found out that somebody is untrustworthy. Under the bottom of the deck, we have playing roles here. So maybe somebody is playing a role, pretending that they're something or somebody that they aren't. A fox. So let's find out why these cards are here. Yeah, some type of love message. Somebody, um, hmm. The owl is talking about wisdom, paying close attention. Somebody that could be stalking their prey. You ever seen an owl on the animal planet, how they stalk their prey? So I feel like somebody could be stalking you, paying close attention to you. Um trying to get in your good graces maybe but i feel like this person is pretending to be something that they're not don't ask me why this kind of energy always comes out okay <laughs> what in the world okay let's find out what this is and why this is here and what this owl is suggesting that you do so let's go through it um we have the book card we have the man this could be a male current this could be you virgo um, some of my females could be a masculine energy, but I feel like this is some male, a male energy and somebody could be, um, giving you an invitation, wanting to get to know you better. Maybe somebody has bought a gift for you. I feel like somebody is going to come to you with an invite. This bouquet could be representing an invite out or anything like that. Um, this could be somebody who wants to get closer to you. I feel like somebody wants to get to know you Virgo, or you want to get to know somebody, with the open book, somebody is willing to tell you everything. It's like they're an open book. Somebody is saying, I'm an open book. All right. But somebody with this compass card, they could ask you to go out. They could want to go out or they want to know where you want to go. But with the fox card, I feel like this person has their own hidden agenda. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's here. And then playing roles. Somebody is being phony. I feel like somebody puts a mask on when they're with you, pretending to be something or pretending something is one way, but it's another way. We're going to find out about this. We're going to get the tarot and see. Um, heart. So with the heart card, this is an expression of love, romance, or somebody opening up, expressing their feelings. All right. Um, with the heart card in this letter, somebody could be sending you a love message. Um, somebody could be texting you or something like that. Maybe they're holding their feelings in their heart. Somebody has feelings for you. And this looks like, like a love letter or something like that that they want to tell you. Somebody wants to open up and tell you how they really feel about you. I feel like somebody has been hiding it. And with the moon card, we have hidden illusions, um, things that are hidden beneath the surface. I feel like somebody could be hiding their feelings for you. And somebody's waiting for the right time or figuring out a way with the compass card, trying to figure out a way to tell you. Let's get into this. Let's see what this is. Let's find out what's going on. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, show Virgo what you need to know about this energy on the board, please. What is this man doing? Confession. 
yeah somebody wants to come clean about how they feel about you somebody's been holding their feelings in somebody has to tell you something oh lord <laughs> what's the bouquet card somebody definitely wants to see you here we go with the same energy someone in the middle someone is trying to sabotage this so what is going on with this someone in the middle show me the book card caution find out more information and also don't overwork yourself trying to make something work something is hidden here find out more information this could be somebody that could really break your heart so be careful for my virgos who are single be careful because it could be somebody that you like a lot or this person likes you a lot but they're really slick show me the compass card what is this about move on Somebody's trying to deci de decide which way to go. And this is saying move on. Someone is unavailable and a waste of time. So somebody here can't give you what you need or what you desire. Why is the fox here? Honeymoon. A honeymoon phase. Somebody is trying to be slick. Somebody is like with the honeymoon phase. This is saying all the right things, doing all the right things, making you feel like you're the most important person to them. One more on the fox, a spy. Someone's got their eye on you doing their research. Yeah, this person is slick. Somebody is stalking you. I feel like they're just keeping an eye on you, a close eye on you, trying to find out as much as they can about you. And you see how this, this person is dressed? But they're really a wolf. They're really sneaky. And it looks like they're in the woods, like, watching. If you live by trees or whatever, this person could be watching. And there's some type of house or building in the background that could be outside your house. Or somebody that can see you outside watching. Ugh. This gets on my nerves. <laughs> this energy is so crazy. Show me playing roles same thing i feel like somebody definitely look your guardian angel is here a lost loved one is watching over you um because there's somebody here trying to pretend that there's something they're not for some of you guys you already talked to this person i keep getting that somebody needs to check their person look that's what i'm here to do expose okay and help you heal luck is on your side when it comes to love okay or luck is on your side when it comes to somebody real somebody really feeling for you or something like that the red flags you ignore now will come back to bite later there is something that this person is hiding you're being encouraged to use your intuition about this person and their intentions for some of you guys it's a taurus capricorn or virgo for some of y'all somebody feels like this person is like the best thing that ever happened to them some of y'all need to get this deck. Get the Love and War deck from our website. You can get it on Etsy or closer to the number to mydestiny.com. You can pull your own cards on this person, like these people, to see what is happening here. All right? This is just a Love Oracle deck that I created for you guys, and I love using it. Um, I don't think I'm going to use it today, though. Do I want to? Yeah, let's use it. <laughs> let's use it. Because I want to know more. And then we're going to go into the tarot and see. I'm going to clarify these cards with the tarot as well. So let's see. I'm getting that you're not as accessible as this person thought you would be. It's like you could be very close in their vicinity. But it's not easy to get to you. It's not as easy to get you as they thought it would be. They can't. It's like they can't. <laughs> show, show me about this person. What does Virgo need to know about this person? It says, I do what you do to me. I'm just smarter, tit for tat, and petty. So somebody, they're doing what you do to them. Um, Maybe they're just doing it a different way. So if, if you're doing things to get this person to come towards you or anything like that, they're doing the same to you. Or if they feel like you're cheating on them, they're doing it. Like, because they feel like you are. Um, it's like whatever you do, they can do better. So it's like whatever you do, they're going to try to outdo you. What the heck? What in the world, y'all? Happy hump day. Because what? 
<laughs> this is crazy. Show me someone has something to tell you. It's been so long, but I still want you. I don't know how to tell you. So maybe you've been avoiding this person for a really long time. Someone else is in the picture. They're bringing you an offer, but somebody else is in the picture. So this is somebody that has somebody. And they want to go out and talk about this. Your guardian angel is here suggesting that you stay away from this person. Can we go out to talk and clear the air? Let me explain. So somebody wants to explain themselves. They want to explain their actions, their reactions, what they're hiding or whatever the case may be. With this open book, there's going to be a lot of information you find out about this person. But this is also telling you to find out more information. It's like they're going to be telling you a lot. And it's going to be very tempting. But it's something more to this story. Wow, somebody is going to jail soon. Take it how it resonates. Not everybody knows somebody who's going to jail, but somebody's going to jail soon. And I really lost myself after you left me. Illness, depressions, and grief. Depression and grief. So I feel like somebody is going to come forward and maybe confess this. I just feel like for a lot of you guys, you're just like, what the hell? Like, we're on a whole new year. Oh, hell no. Like, no. I, some of y'all could be waiting for this person to express themselves some of you know somebody is watching you and they haven't said anything yet waiting for the right moment to make their move but this person is unavailable just because they want you don't mean that they're available okay like and just because they look good don't mean that they are good with this daggone fox dressed up in a damn three-piece suit but it's a fox okay bite your head off that's why it's just like <laughs> Take your time and make sure you examine the situation carefully. So someone is unavailable and a waste of time. It says you gave in to me way too easy. I was prepared to do so much more. Did you guys give in to somebody very easy? It says I'm seeing other people, but I just can't let you go. So somebody is hooked on you. We got this energy yesterday. This person must be still around spying show me the fox card why is the fox card here i sleep with who i want to sleep with in a relationship or not that's why so this person doesn't care if they have somebody they're just coming after you because they want you not that they want to be with you not that they want to make you happy just because they want you okay and your guardian angel is watching over you to um telling you it's like they're blowing the whistle that somebody is playing a role here they're not what they seem show me playing roles some of y'all just met this person i'm single and loving all my options not sure if i'll settle down again so somebody could be trying to make you feel like everything is going to be all good and this person has no remorse for what they did to you so if they're lying to you playing games with you they're not sorry about it. And they think it's funny. Like, this is what they do all the time. Somebody could be hiding a health issue. It's under the bottom of the deck. Luck is on your side. And love. Let's see. This is a karmic. Here to teach you a lesson. And I feel like luck is on your side. Because you're going to find out about this. I saw this person is gay or bisexual under the bottom of the deck. And somebody is hiding a health issue. So I saw both of them. Oh. Told you. Somebody's having struggles with this earth sign person that's gay or of the same sex. Same sex relationship. And this is a karmic. So you're being told not to go back to this person. No matter how they make it seem. No matter how nice they try to be. This person is put it, playing roles. Like they're playing you. And it's a need for you to pay close attention to what's going on. Intuition. The red, the red flags that you ignore will bite you in the butt. Okay. Moon. This person is hiding whatever. What's going on with these secrets? Past life connection. The soulmate. So you could feel soulmate energy with this person. But this is a karmic. And somebody is trying to cover up something. Let's get into the tarot. We need to know. Look at this. Run. This person may break your heart, alter your motives. I told you guys, this person is all for themselves. This person has a plan. Okay, they already know what they want. Hold on, let me check our time. 
Okay. Let's go ahead and get the tarot and break it down and see what is being hidden. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, and Sessing Spirit, guys. So let's take a look. Show us the energy of this person doing tit for tat. What is this man's energy toward my Virgo? Well, a reconciliation is here. Somebody wants to go out with you. Somebody really wants to take you out, go out and talk. It's been so long. I feel like this person is going to come out of nowhere. It's going to be a Taurus Capricorn or Virgo. Yeah, they want to heal this with the star. Somebody could feel like you're a star. This could be somebody famous or somebody wealthy. Some of my Virgos do know famous people. Show me. Then we got the fool. Somebody wants a fresh start with you. They want to know if they can start over. Make things right. Can we go out and talk and clear the air? This is that bouquet card. This is that offer. An offer for some time out. Somebody's coming in and rushing in to talk to you about whatever happened between you guys. Somebody is going to like make you feel like they're in alignment with you and they're your soulmate. Somebody feels like you guys see eye to eye. This feeling right here is mutual. With the two of cups energy, you guys could very well see eye to eye. You could even be the same sign. You guys have a lot in common. It's another earth sign and you're an earth sign. So you guys could really connect. All right, it could be a very strong attraction here. But still, down here, it says don't trust this person. So let's see. What else? Show me the Two of Cups energy. This is a love offer. This is somebody saying that they love you. This could be a fire sign. King of Wands energy. This could also be representing somebody who steps out of the relationship. Somebody wants to go out and talk to you. This could be an Aries Leo Sage or a Taurus Capricorn or Virgo. Oh, y'all. <laughs> Look what flew out. Use your intuition. And the person could have initials J or B. This person could also have water in their chart. Somebody could also be dealing with the Pisces. Somebody likes the same sex as well. I really lost myself after losing you. This is talking about using your intuition to see what's hidden as well. Show me what this open book is representing. This open book. What is this person? Yeah. Secrets. The moon. Bringing clarity. This could also be representing illusions. But the, the moon illuminates what can't be seen in the dark. So I feel like this person is going to come and open up to you about whatever... It's like they're going to tell you stuff, but it's going to be to a certain extent. It's like they're going to be saying, I'm an open book. Ask me whatever you want. I'm, I'm ready to be honest. I want to tell you. They're going to be opening up their heart to you, talking about, I lost myself. Um, it's been so long. I still want you. I lost myself when you left me and all this other stuff. Like, they're really going to be laying it on thick. And let's see the compass card. This is saying, I don't know which way to go. I'm trying to figure out my sense of direction. Or, and it's also saying, no matter where we are, something always draws me back to you. This is a Sagittarius for somebody. This Sagittarius wants to bring balance to the situation after they really screwed everything up. I sleep with who I want. Show me this fox. What's happening here? Look at this lover situation. They say, and I'll sleep with you too. Like, they, somebody misses that with you. The lovers, somebody is saying it was more than just sex for us. Mm. The emperor in reverse, somebody who abuses their control and authority. Somebody who's not a good leader, not a good boss. And this flew over on the mask. So somebody pretends that they got it all together, but really they're going to abuse their authority. For some of you guys, this person is really wealthy. So they use that to control you and control the dynamics of this situation or relationship. Show me the lovers. Somebody could be dealing with a Gemini. No justice. This is not in alignment. This is a karmic. Here to teach you a lesson and that came out earlier. Show me playing roles. Dang. Double karma, judgment, 
all right the universe is against this 100 percent. this person could try to come back all they want it's not gonna happen look at this five of pentacles left out in the cold somebody could be homeless coming back towards you because they need somewhere to stay somebody is being told to leave this person out in the cold because they are married and this is a cheating lying husband or whatever the case may be show me five of pentacles dang hold on y'all it flew on the floor the sun in reverse so i feel like this is gonna not this is gonna bring you heartache this person has secrets with the sun in reverse this is not a favorable choice somebody is in a relationship or something like that or married the ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck show me the sun is this supposed to be in reverse yeah moving on this is telling you to walk away walk away from this person like no matter what what they tell you or how they try to make it feel you're going to be sad dealing with this person it's like all you're going to feel is heartache if you accept this person back in your life somebody is saying that i've been sad since you left me out in the cold i haven't been happy and i feel forced to move on without you somebody could be a um air sign a earth sign dang y'all got the wheel of fortune judgment and justice in reverse like this is not good somebody went to us through a tower moment whoever this is they're going to be rushing and trying to talk to you about something that was old like whatever this is it already happened it well this part didn't happen yet for a lot of you but Whatever the situation was between y'all, it already ended. And you blocked this person. Yeah, you blocked this person because all they want is a recognized victory. And look, if they're a distraction, that's all they are is a distraction. Yeah, you're standing your ground when it comes to this. Someone is trying to cover up something. What is it? <laughs> That they have addictions. Knight of Wands. This is a fire sign that has addictions. Or somebody's trying to hide the fact that they've been dealing with a Capricorn. This Capricorn could be a liar. And they're betraying you or something like that. Yeah, and burden. So, this person is trying to trick you. And they're going to end up keeping you waiting if you fall for this. So, y'all, please don't let this person back in. Take it as it resonates. If this sounds like something that could be your story, then take it as it resonates, guys. Take bits and pieces, whatever you have to do, but don't don't let this person back in. This is just, whew. Mm. For a lot of you guys, it's an earth sign. We got fire, water, and air here, but I feel like the air is representing somebody's dealing with an Aquarius. Somebody's definitely dealing with a Pisces. Somebody is definitely dealing with a Sagittarius, and somebody knows another Virgo or Capricorn. All of those are 100%, all right? But whatever you do, guys, don't let this person trick you into letting them back in because they're going to break your heart. And this is a karmic. If you let this person back in, you're going to be on a new karmic cycle for the new year. And it's only three days in. Just ignore this person. It's like you already have them blocked. Just keep them blocked. Because the divine is definitely against them. This is saying don't wait to get picked. It says don't chase anything that doesn't want to be caught. Instead, pick yourself up and forge ahead. Because this person wants to do what they want to do. And they're all about a recognized victory. The unseen. It says things are not always as they appear to be. Be thorough and keep your eyes open. There's something you're not seeing. Okay. Then this is saying beautiful things take time to grow. There's no need to rush. Allow yourself to grow at your own pace. And I feel like everything else will be added unto you. Become a source of light. You are a natural healer born to bring um, through new healing methods to whatever areas you choose to work in. And that's true. All right, guys, if you want to book your reading, book it at closer to number two, mydestiny.com. Thank you guys for being here with me. I'm sending you my love, light, and positive energy, and I'll see you next time. Bye, lovies.